This is going to be a quick demonstration on how to apply the Magic Ink to a Revealer tool. Uh, with Active Inspire, that actually comes with two different icons, a magnifying glass and a pair of glasses. Uh, the key is your objects have to have a hollow or transparent center in order for the ink to work. You can't use like the draw tool and create like a square or a shape and then try to apply the magic ink. You actually have to use something that is based with a clear center. So once again, I have my object browser open. I find this by going to view and the browsers and make sure this is checked and highlighted. And I selected the third layer, which is the object browser. Uh, the entire point of the object browser is to be able to maneuver and move stuff around in layers. Our text, which we were going to be hiding, is to be located in the middle layer, and then we're going to have our other cover items available in the top layer. So first, I'm going to add a text item here. So I'm going to be hiding this with an icon. So I'm going to draw a shape to hide it. So I'm going to pick a rectangle here. And this is what's going to hide. So if you notice here on the left hand side, it has created everything in the middle layer. I'm going to move this up and drag and drop into the top layer. So now the text is hidden behind the uh, shape, the rectangle that I've uh, drawn here, but it's still located in two different layers. So I'm going to browse over to my media. I believe it's underneath the lesson building objects and gadgets. I'm going to play around with the little glasses because they're cute. So I'm going to drag and drop these over here. So my goal is I want to be able to drag, or excuse me, use the magic ink in one of the little eye holes here. So I'm going to do just one side. Um, obviously it's going to be a lot easier if you use just one object like the magnifying glass. But what you want to do is make sure in keeping the pen uh, completely wrapped around and making sure that all areas of the glasses have been drawn on so that there's no hidden areas. So like when you drag and drop there's nothing like missing. So now I have a shape which is the blue and then I have my pin here. So I want to drag my revealer to be on top of my magic ink here. So now that I have this done I need to group these together so that when I move my glasses the magic ink stays within that little eye. So I'm going to click the um, reveal glasses holding the shift key I'm going to select the magic ink and I'm going to select the menu and group. So Lord willing on the first time when I drag this over it's going to reveal my answer. So you'll notice when I was drawing um, there's a little bit of debris left so I drew a little larger than I needed so actually I could go back and take my pen here and use the eraser and kind of erase some of that there if you want to get that technical with it. But in this case, I really I don't mind as much just because it's a demonstration purpose. So I'm going to undo these so I don't have a million pins available. So now this as I hide and move this, it will reveal the answer beneath it. So once again, a reminder, the text needs to be located on the middle layer. The top layer needs to hold the revealer, the magic ink that fills in the solid white areas on the revealer, and then the shape that is hiding your object. So if you have multiple boxes on here, they all would need to be listed here. You can rename these by right clicking and then double clicking there to rename it. If you need to be able to keep up with something or if you want to rename these as the answer, same thing with the text. The text needs to be in the middle layer. So this allows the um, objects to be dragged and to re reveal the answer beneath it. I hope this tutorial has helped you out and good luck.